Hey, I'm Emily from Candid Sphinx. Today I have a grounding exercise video for you, which has been inspired by a painting I came across the other day. This painting, it's titled The Pink Cloud. It was painted in oil on canvas by the French artist Henri Edmond Cross around 1896. It's in the collection of the Cleveland Museum of Art. Okay, so it's not the most naturalistic painting for a grounding video, but I thought it was perfect for a few reasons. Around this time, Cross was working in a large, loose, divisionist style. Some may call it a pointillist style. He was using lots of big, separate dots and dashes of pure pigment to form a cohesive scene. Grounding helps us do just that. It helps us to collect all of our bits and pieces and to gain a sense of clarity and holding it together. I recommend grounding yourself daily as one of the first things you do in the morning. Though, if you're a night owl and you prefer to do this kind of stuff later on, that's okay too. Being grounded is so important because being grounded benefits all levels of our being. Grounding takes us into our hearts. It connects us into source energy. It connects us into our true selves and the oneness of all existence. That's kind of where we want to operate from as much as possible. Grounding helps make our thinking processes more fluid and creative, and it makes us less reactive to others. It smooths the sharp edges off of our ego judgments in a way. Being grounded can also help with general health and immunity and aches and pains. It makes us less clumsy and accident-prone, too because we're actually inhabiting our bodies more. So if you bump into things or cut or burn yourself a lot, this practice will help you out. The two sort of wispy cypress trees near the center are another reason this painting called to me. They're just daubed right over the horizon line in indigo blue, adding some nice verticality to the composition. They're kind of a huge focal point that drew my eye in right away amid all the majesty of the skyline we've got going on here. It's important to be like those trees, flexible, and rooted into both the richness of the earth below and the glorious expanse of the sky above. And as for Cross's semi-psychedelic, post-impressionistic color palette in this painting, well, I find it quite fitting too. You'll soon notice that for me, grounding and getting into nature's frequency is very much about tapping into and appreciating the kaleidoscopic, subtle energies around us that aren't so commonly seen. At least not by those who aren't super clairvoyant, that is. <laughs> so, shall we get started? The first thing we're going to do is close our eyes. We're going to just sort of draw a veil over our active minds. And we're going to allow our consciousness to drift down into our hearts. And here we're going to feel centered. And we're going to tune in to what feels true for us. And we're going to take three of the deepest breaths we've taken so far today. From here, we're going to allow our consciousness and the light that accompanies it to drift directly down into our root chakra at the base of our spine. We're going to allow this awareness to really suffuse into all the tissues and organs in our pelvic bowl. We're going to take three more of those deep breaths as we feel what it's like to be on the earth plane today, and we feel what it's like to be in our bodies today. And we're going to allow that light and awareness to continue down into our hip creases, down our thighs, into our knees, down our calves, into our ankles, into our feet chakras and the soles of our feet. And now we're going to take our awareness below our feet into the earth star chakra. This is the chakra of soul purpose in this incarnation. Being in tune with it 
can really help with staying deeply grounded. Now we're going to take our awareness down through all the layers of the planet, picking up any codes from Mother Earth that our energy field could use today. We're going to go down through the soil and the clay, down through the layers of crystal and rock, down into the inner reservoirs and aquifers of water, allowing the water element to play upon and cleanse our emotional body. We're going to continue down into the inner caverns of hollow earth where the air element will breeze through our mental body, lightening that up. We're going to continue down into the magma layer of the earth, allowing the hot magma and the fire element to burn away anything that no longer serves on any level of our being. We're going to continue down now, continuing down. Notice if you see any colored energies coming into your mind's eye. And we're going to continue down, down into the beating heart center of Mother Earth. Feel how her heartbeat beats right in time with your heartbeat. The light here is a beautiful white diamond light full of rainbows sparkling everywhere. We're going to take a moment to allow our consciousness to really spread out and squeeze in here like the roots of a plant. The rainbow light here represents the life force of Mother Earth. And it also represents unity consciousness, the oneness of all things. So we're going to allow this sparkling diamond rainbow light to rise all the way up now through the layers of the Earth up into our earth star chakra, all the way back up our legs, all the way into our pelvis and our root, continuing upwards now in an almost snake-like movement. This energy rises through the sacral chakra below the navel, up through the navel, up through the solar plexus chakra in the upper abdomen, up into our heart chakra and our higher heart chakra between our heart and throat. Up into the throat, up through the face and into the third eye. Up into the crown chakra. And this glittering rainbow earth energy is going to continue upwards now through the back of our heads, through our causal chakras. Continuing upwards through our soul star chakras and up through our stellar gateway chakras atop that. We're going to see this light continuing to rise now up through the sky, up through the atmosphere and the solar system, up through the galaxy and the universe, all the way up into pure source light. And here we're going to recognize that there is no difference and there are no barriers between this light and the light that we are, the light that everything is. Harnessing the sensation of being at one with this light, we're going to allow it to drift all the way back down, down through the heavens, down through the atmosphere and the sky, back down into our stellar gateway chakra above our heads, down into our soul star chakras, our causal chakras, down back through the crown, the third eye, the throat. We're going to allow it to drift down now through our shoulders and our elbows and our hands, filling up our higher heart chakras again and our heart centers, back down through our solar plexus, our navel our sacral chakra, back down through the root, all the way back down through the hips and the legs, down through the soles of the feet into the earth star chakra and all the way down through the many layers of the earth. 
down into the beating heart of Mother Earth once again, where we anchor in this celestial source light. We're now going to ask all of our chakras to open fully, front and back. We're going to ask them to clear, to take in as much light as they can, to balance, and to begin spinning in one perfect synchronized line from our stellar gateway chakra atop our heads to our earth star chakra below our feet. And now we're going to intend to align and ground down physically, align and ground down emotionally, align and ground down mentally, and align and ground down spiritually. Now you can call in any guides or other forms of consciousness you'd like for protection or to help clear your energy field. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, feeling deeply, deeply grounded, knowing you've gone down your lower grounding root into the earth and up your upper grounding root through the ethers and into source above are actually making a beautiful, shining rainbow bridge between the two. Well, that always feels splendid. I recommend repeating a real quick version of this exercise every once in a while throughout the day, or until the next time you ground yourself well. Not the whole thing. Just briefly send your consciousness down and up, setting the intention to ground and align. Thanks so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with others and let me know in the comments below. And tap that subscribe button to watch more art-inspired energy work videos like it. You can also find me on Instagram at CandidSphinx and visit CandidSphinx.com to book personal healing sessions with me. Cool. Stay grounded, my friends, and see you next time.